Hi everyone, today for Black History Month I will be watching Glory. A lot of people have been suggesting this one to me, saying it's really good, it's really impactful and it's about the civil war in the United States, which I don't know that much about. I think you can hear that I don't live in America, I live on the other side of the planet, in Europe. And yeah, I do know a lot more about wars that happen around my place, in terms of Belgium being a part of world wars and all of that. But the American Civil War, yeah, I'm excited to see this and hopefully learn a little bit more about it. I think in that sense movies can be very important and I am excited to watch it and to learn more. If you like reactions like these make sure to like and subscribe and as always you can find the full reaction on Patreon and lately I've been posting also exclusives on Patreon like the Last of Us reactions and I think I have a few more in mind that will be appearing on Patreon after that so if you want to check out more exclusives and watch the full watch long versions of everything on YouTube you can find that over on Patreon. Let's get into this one. The war between the states. And like the only reason I know Potomac is from the Real Housewives of Potomac, so I feel like <laughs> it's about time I learned some more in-depth, actually important stuff. I always wonder when you see these scenes, like they have tends to sleep in and stuff, but it must be so dis discomfortable for such a long time. And then you're super tired and in pain, and then you need to go fight. We fight for men and women whose poetry is not yet written, but which will presently be as enviable and as renowned as any. Aww. They have made me captain, of which I am enormously proud. You would think it strange to see me giving orders to a hundred men. Look at him, little career guy. My dearest love to father, your son, Robert. <laughs> Mom gets a whole letter. It's that it's like, reads. I cannot imagine what it must be as a parent or as a partner that stays behind. How long the days must be. It's so interesting because, of course, when I watch a war movie, I'm also so used to the way of dressing from wars around here and not like them with their little swords and their caps. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oi, oh, that was suddenly very visual. They're just being slaughtered. Running into guns. You all right there, Cam? Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't look at the actors. Okay, Morgan is in it. Must be a good one. <laughs> like you go there with all these ambitions and probably you made some friends and the next day you see like well well <laughs> survivor's guilt and stuff Oof. but they moved the line so that's good right they moved forward captain shaw i was so proud when i heard all the other officers are dead <laughs> oh whoa okay dark humor the governor is proposing to raise a regiment of Soldiers. No, no, no. It was not just my idea. Colored soldiers, Rob. Just think of it. I've submitted your name, Robert, to be commissioned colonel of the 54th Massachusetts Infantry. Thank you, Governor. That's, that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> this guy looks so pissed off. <laughs> and I was like, isn't it weird that they offer you this position and you're like, I need to go outside. <laughs> and yeah, so what I didn't realize is which we will see now, is how it was so confusing in terms of him being happy to become a colonel. Colonel? <laughs> colonel. <laughs> but that this might have not been how he had pictured it. What's wrong? I'm gonna do it. And this is how we see what an amazing guy he is. You're not serious. I want you to come with me. Can you picture me in charge of a regiment? This is such a wholesome moment, right? Because at first he's like, let's not do this, man. Like, why would you do this? And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna. Like, are you coming with me? Yeah, mate. Is it true? There's to be a colored regiment? Then I am your first volunteer. Thomas, yes! It is a great pleasure to see you all here today. 
May God bless us all. Yes, sir. That's amazing. What was he doing on the right side? That thing like going in the ground? Well, if you don't mind, I prefer a more a space with more sufficient reading light. Oh, I like it when it's so good as white folk. Oh, whoa. I ain't got nothing to learn from no house. I am a free man. Oh, good. Well, why don't you move your free black ass on out my space before I have to bust hey, it up? Oh, this guy. Whoa. And then it's like internal as well. Like if you're too posh, then you must be white. Like, okay. Interesting dynamic. If you have a problem with everybody, maybe you're the problem. <laughs> what about you there, Buck? Where about you from? Yeah, I'm around Tennessee. Yeah, I ran away when I was 12 years old. I ain't never looked back. Well, what you doing since then? I run for president. That was like the snort from hell. <laughs> well, at least they were, they're bounding now after that sick burn. You know Charlie Moore, Charlie, Thomas Searle. Hello. Hello. I won't permit that kind of fraternization. What? It's only Thomas. He's an enlisted man. Wasn't that their friend? These men need a proper teacher. For God's sake, man, you're boys like a bunch of crippled old goats. You are ugly Mexican. African fucking whore! You half wit black bastard! Did you truly cut your balls off at birth? I'm gonna work on you, you bastard, till I get you broken. Uh, well, that's rather offensive, but this seems to be the guy to do that with everybody, you know? He would just find someone and pick something out what he's gonna say. What about the uniform? Still no work. Oh no, they actually are not getting uniforms? No weapons? What is this? You have not a master like me. Oh my god. You men are advised that the Confederate Congress has issued a proclamation. Any taken in arms against the Confederacy will immediately be returned to a state of slavery. Any taken in federal uniform will be summarily put to death. I feel like I'm not understanding very well what's going on here. Any white officer taken in command Troops shall be deemed as inciting servile insurrection and shall likewise be put to death. I feel like my English is not good enough for this. What does it mean? If you're not here in the morning, I understand. Is it that if they're taking kept if they're being captured? You don't want that blue suit. They're gonna be put to death? And the same for their white officers leading them? Or can they not wear the uniform? Or they will be to death. I feel like I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. How many are left? <laughs> Is that everyone? Oh my god, my heart. I wonder if you are treating these men too hard. You must not like hearing that. The boy's your friend, Dizzy. Ooh. Really? You can handle that boy. I, I can knock something down with this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the kind of things we hear. Uh oh. It's not true, is it? I mean, about not being allowed to fight. The men are all living for that day. Excuse me. Oh, he needs to keep his distance. That's painful. Thomas was so excited to join and support his friend in that, too. What was it there that made him hesitant? Like, the memory of them what happened before and the risk of them dying or that they weren't really taking it seriously and might underestimate what they were had for. You're a good shot, Private. Thank you, sir. S squirrel hunting. Oh, he was like pointing at his, his neck. Do it! Do it again, only this time I want it done quickly. Now, I can imagine that it's a lot different than just standing in line and trying a little bit then than in a real war. Do it! Do it! It's hard to watch, but in a way I feel like he's right. At least now they're just practicing. This will be what is going to happen. He doesn't mean like he doesn't mean to shock them. Just make them realize. Teach them properly, Major. Attention company! Damn. <laughs> He says watermelons. Why do you treat the men this way, Robert? Have we seen him in like Princess Bride or something? Or like one of the 
Orbs? I feel like I recognize him. I'm getting these men ready for battle. They're already as good as the seventh ever was. They march well, they're disciplined. No thanks to you. <laughs> okay. You seem to forget I know you. And so does Thomas. Interesting. So, like what I said earlier, he might disagree. You don't believe in what we're doing here. Maybe you shouldn't be part of it. Left, right, left, right, little finger along the seams of your trousers. <laughs> it is my job to get these men ready. They have risked their lives to be here. They have given up their freedom. And I owe them my freedom. My life, if necessary. Maybe so do you, Cabot. Oh, difficult. And the friendships get mixed with hierarchy. It's hard because if you actually believe that they will only march, then you get why he's a little bit softer. But also, would you take that risk? But of course, we have no idea if they're actually already better than the 7th Regiment. You're the worst soldier in this whole company. Now he me! Forgot the duck, that's all. <laughs> it's interesting, like he can boss them around to teach them, but we're not accepting bullying around each other. That was harsh. Enlisted men. Wishing to speak to their commanding officer must first get permission. You understand, Private? Oh, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel about this. Because you get it. But it's so horrible. Like, come on. Let him get his act together in private. Speak to him. He's your friend. This cold as eyes approach could break him too. Like, it could build him up, but it could break him as well. He a weak, white boy. Beating on him. Make them feel strong. Hey, that white snowflake. I thought the word snowflake as an offense was like five years old. <laughs> he thought he was different, didn't he? Oh my god, give him a fing break. You just thought you were so smart, didn't you? What you want to cry? What the hell, man? I would just. <laughs> one man say there's a farm, ain't but two, three miles from there. There's a lady over there giving biscuits and gravy. They find out they liable to shoot you. Is you old man or is you old woman? I forget. Damn, this guy is annoying. Like, ugh. I don't want to stand in their way because of my own weakness. Hey, isn't that great? Isn't that amazing that you want them to thrive so hard that you think you might stand in their way? I want to say Merry Christmas, Robert. Merry Christmas, Thomas. You can say whatever you want, but Thomas. That's that's strong. After everything that happened, I hear they're deserting ten at a time. Oh, well, you're misinformed. I figured it. Never had it so good. Three square a day, a roof over their heads. <laughs> Whoa. Sometimes it might be smart to just let them speak and be like, "All right." We're extremely limited as to footway. That kind of item has to be reserved for those units whose fighting readiness supersede yours. So will they ever get shoes or not? Because it makes sense if it's a if it's real, if other people are gonna fight quicker, but nice meeting you, Sean. <laughs> Likewise. Blech. What is it? We've uh, caught a deserter. Oh, 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 oh. Who's it gonna be? It'll be all right, won't it? Would it? I don't know. The prisoner is to be flogged before the entire regiment. Oh, what? They're gonna hit him? Oh my god, this Never is so wrong. My authority in front of others. You may commence. I was like, do you reckon that if Forbes did it more privately, he could have said no, but now he's like, I need to say yes because you took my power away. I'm having trouble watching this. This is so bad. Because this is just what you're trying to fight, right? You're trying to work together, fight the same cause. And instead, the same thing is happening as it was before. <sighs> oh. This is so dehumanizing. Come on, man. For a second, I was hoping that it would be like, stop it. Like, I don't know if this is a regular punishment for a deserter, but I feel like he's trying so hard to be a correct leader that he might not be a good leader at that point, you know? The man needs shoes, Colonel. Yes, I know. I've been after the quartermaster for some time now. The boy was off trying to find himself some shoes, Colonel. He wants to fight. 
Oh nee. All of the men like this? Most of them. Oh my god, he was looking for shoes. That was the guy, right? The guy was looking for shoes. Oh my god. Oh, I feel horrendous. I 600 pair of shoes and 1200 pair of socks. Piece of rat filth. Well, I'd love to help you, Colonel, but we just don't have any. I'll just have a look around and see that you haven't misplaced them. Hmm? Anyway, I'm kind of glad that at least he's fighting for them. You really think you can keep 700 Union soldiers without proper shoes because you think it's funny? Look, uh, have a drink. What the hell, dude? <laughs> have a drink. Oh man, that previous scene, I'm still in shock, like, just... At least he shows that he's listening now. Damn. Oh my god. You men enlisted in this regiment on the understanding that you would be paid the regular army wage of $13 a month. This morning I have been notified, since you are a colored regiment, you will be paid $10 a month. What the hell, man? Hey, Pop, you finna lay down for this too? What are you supposed to do? I'm also like, I don't know what I would do in their place. Would you be like, oh, whatever, man. I'm so used to being treated horribly. Or would you take a stand and be like, this is not right. There comes a point where we're like, we're here to fight. We get the shittiest like treatment. The footwear is bad. You're not even gonna pay us to save? Like, what the hell? They're right. Tell them. If you men will take no pay, then none of us will. Yes! Oh my god, he's actually turning into a leader. A good leader. And not a corrupt one. That will earn him some respect. Yes! Okay. <laughs> this movie's a roller coaster. I feel like my heart is still shattered from the scene and then oh, I have goosebumps <laughs> but like a, an horror cry from oh look at the little boy <laughs> you are hereby awarded the rank of sergeant major I love this oh my god I'm gonna get put all after this movie <laughs> Let's end the movie right here <laughs> before fighting. I ain't sure I'm wanting this, Colonel. <laughs> I get that. Just having the colors around seems to have scared the bejesus out of the Rebs. Colonel Shaw. Excuse me. Them getting them actually into the action will be another hurdle, it seems. We'll be foraging for supplies. I could use a hand. That is, if you think your men are up to it. They are indeed, sir. Foraging supplies. I'm so worried about the fighting. Like the whole movie is so nice in terms of breaking like standards or like breaking a system, you know. But actually see them fight against is not yeah. You know. Let's clear her out. What are you doing? Excuse me? That man is a civilian. That man is Sesesh, and Sesesh is all the same, son. <gasps> you really think anybody's gonna put these boys into some real combat? Do you? Oh man, so they got tricked. Safe, they're little monkey children and you just gotta know how to control them. You see what I mean? Hey boy! This is horrible! Oh, <gasps> What the f Now that would not have been necessary if that secession woman hadn't started it. They'll never learn. What? How does he think? Tell your men to set torches and prepare to fire the building. I will not. Ooh. You will do it or you will be brought up on charges for disobeying your superior officer. It is an immoral order, and by articles of war, I am not bound to obey Just it. explain that at your court martial after your men are placed under my command. Oh no, this is impossible. Fall out to set torches, prepare to fire the town. First squad, second platoon, fall out! Wow. 
This is so sad. But I feel that only a letter directly from you to Lincoln himself can have the desired effect. I am sure you both pray, as I do, that all this has not been in vain. This is, yeah, so bad for morale. I figured this war would be over a whole lot sooner if you boys just turn right on around, head on back down that way, and you let us head on up there where the real fighting is. Huh? The men dying up that road. And it wouldn't be nothing but Rebs dying if they let the 54th in it. It's also not good, right? Because I get that you want to fight and that should be admired, but the problem is these other people are fighting and it's not glamorous. You're looking at a higher rank, Corporal. And you'll obey and you'll like it. Make me, I'll make you. Yeah, he needs to respect a higher officer, right? Ooh. What's your name? I'm putting you up on charge. There ain't no calls for that, sir. What's that, Sergeant? Well, I mean, it's just a soldier's fight, sir. No, no, he... No. Oh, don't let him do that. You may get back to work. Oh, man, he got away with it. Just... You can march like the white man. You can even wear his suits, but you ain't never gonna be nothing to him but an ugly ass chimp. You want to fight me, boy? You want to fight me, don't you? Don't you? The thing is, though, you need believers on both sides, right? You need people to take it up for you, but you also need to believe that it's gonna get better. Get your hands off me. Ain't no around here, you hear me? Oh, I see. So the white man give you a couple of... See, like, that's also such a bad attitude. Like, it, ne it needs to be a both side thing. You ain't nothing but the white man's dog. Shit. What are you? So full of hate, you just want to go out and fight everybody. Because you've been whipped and chased by a hound. Well, that might not be living, but it sure as hell ain't dying. And dying's what these white boys been doing for going on three years now. Dying by the thousands. Dying for you, fool. I know, because I dug the graves. And all the time I'm digging, I'm asking myself when, when, old Lord's going to be our time. And he up and kick in like men. Like men! Look at him. Mm. You watch who you calling. Then it around here is you. Smart mouth, stupid ass, swamp running. You ain't careful, that's all you ever gonna be. There's so many strong <laughs> lines in this movie. And it's so strong because it's like, think better of yourself. Don't talk us down. Don't talk yourself down. Stop that shit. My uh, insulin thing is like going crazy, I'm sorry. Whew. I've written a letter to my father asking him to press Governor Andrew and President Lincoln. But I don't have to wait for all that, do I? Yes, I've become quite a student of your operations in this region. 34 mansions, I think it was, pillaged and burnt. <laughs> 4,000 bales of cotton smuggled through the lines with payment to parties unknown. Ooh. Ooh. Shall I go on? Can you? He's basically like uh, blackmailing him, no? Let you take your regiment out to fight. That's what you want, isn't it? When? <laughs> you are bright-eyed, aren't you? Just as soon as I can write the orders. Major. He has a lot of fire in him. Oh my god, it's a true story of Colonel Roberts. <gasps> As he leads the 54th Regiment. I love this. Okay. Well then. <laughs> Here they come! <gasps> Why haven't they reloaded yet? Oh man, this is so crazy to think about war so long ago when you're just like standing right in front of each other and be like, bomb. And also I think I'm so used to European wars that I'm thinking of people in ditches like, like this and not just like walking at each other. Jump, dude, good job. Thomas. <laughs> no! Oh man, I feel like this is gonna get really hard if we lose a few of our bonk. Thomas! Oh my god, he's like shaking up. Thomas. Oh no. Hurts, doesn't it? Hmm. <laughs> He'll be back in Boston before me, sitting by the fire, reading Hawthorne. Hawthorne? Wait, what does that mean? Because I just read the Hawthorne trilogy and it was just like a fictional book. Promise me that you won't send me back. Oh, Thomas. Promise me. All right. 
Oh my god, and your heart wants to send them back to save them. So, uh, how do they do? Uh, any casualties? 42. Oh, 42. Well, you fought very well. Sergeant Rollins has recommended that you receive a commendation. Look at him. It seems like my sugars are getting a bit better. It's considered quite an honor. I wanted to say something, sir, but I... Go ahead. See, um, I ain't fighting this war for you, sir. I mean, what's the point? Ain't nobody gonna win. It's just gonna go on and on. Can't go on forever. Yeah, but ain't nobody gonna win. <laughs> Smart. Get to go on back to Boston, big house and all that. What about us? Well, you won't get anything if we lose. <laughs> That's also true. <gasps> Stinks, I suppose. Stinks bad. And we all covered up in it, too. I mean, ain't nobody clean. Be nice to get clean, though. How do we do that? <laughs> Jump in the water. <laughs> we ain't helping kick in, so. But I still don't want to carry your flag. No one will ever take Charleston without first silencing the forts which protect its harbor. And the first one that must be taken is that, Fort Wagner. I kind of feel like my knowledge could have been a bit better before I jumped into this movie. Because I feel like Fort Wagner is a name that I've heard before, but that's it. We will proceed with a direct frontal assault tomorrow. <laughs> that's scary. Just run, run into a fort. Needless to say, they're, they're going to die. The leading regiment may be yeah, what the hell? 54th Massachusetts requests the honor of leading the attack on Fort Wagner. <gasps> it's Colonel Shaw, isn't it? Yes, sir. You and your men haven't slept for two days. Do you think they have the strength to lead this charge? Yes, sir. There's more to fighting than rest, sir. There's character. There's strength of heart. You should have seen us in action two days ago. We were a sight to see. We'll be ready, sir. When do you want us? This guy. <laughs> I'm so glad he just he didn't just say yes, sir, but actually like compliment his men so much. Amen. 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 Don't we love Jupiter? Come on. <laughs> Uh, if tomorrow we have to meet the judgment day, we want you to let our folks know uh, that we died facing the enemy. We want them to know that we went down standing up. Yes, Lord. We want them to know, Heavenly Father, that we died for freedom. Look at him. Come on, Trip. Give it to us. Never had no family. Killed off my mama. <laughs> you feel funny. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're doing great. Look at them. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Y'all's the only family I got. Well, yeah, that's our family. I love the 54. Ain't much a matter what happens tomorrow, but we men ain't. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 That was very meaningful, too, right? You don't always have to be the best at words to show exactly what you're feeling. And now it's the day of doom. Oh my god, I'm so glad to think about where he started and where he is now. Like he intended always well, but like sometimes he hit, had the hiccup here and there. I wonder what that moment must be like for soldiers, where you're like, you look in each other's eyes and you're so close. And you wonder if it could be the last time. I love this! Oh my god, even them! <laughs> even them! Yes! Yes! Changing history! To be quite a show, Pierce. Best seat in the house. And now they finally get the attention they deserve. If I should fall, remember what you see here. Oh! I. I. I'm sorry, right? Everybody who told me to watch this movie, you had to give me a better warning about how emotional this movie was going to be because I was like, yeah, war movie, history, not like so, so right to the soul. Oh my, I'm so happy for them that they're heroes, but I'm also like, do they need to go first? <laughs> Can somebody else not go first? Or is that not good for history? <laughs> My gods! And look at his face! Also like... <laughs> if this man should fall, who will lift the flag and carry on? Trip. 
Thomas! I don't know if this happens in every war, but I feel like it's so remarkable that the leader is actually the first person to go and also like be the main target that way. That's smart. Hope he gets dark soon. Well, for us it did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oof. They seem to be getting really close. They're not giving up though, they're not giving up. Oh god. <gasps> no. That's their man. It's crazy how he did give the example to just go, 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 you know. I don't know where you need that freaking flag with you, but I guess all right. <laughs> They're there. They did it. Like, they did it. They literally got right at their ranks. Thomas. Oh, nee. Love the music. Oh, God. That's the end. It's so weird how, for us, beaches are so relaxing and going to the sea. And if you think about how many wars have been fought at beaches, also like in Belgium as well, right? You have the whole seaside with like remainders of bunkers and stuff. And it's just crazy to think that, wait, did they lose? I'm confu confused. What an amazing story. And like he's together with them now. Just can't believe how people like some people really change history, right? You need people like that. And I think many of us are not that people. What <laughs> was never taking. God fucked. <clears throat> At least they got some credit, you know. <laughs> Oh, I was not ready for this when I started this. I think it's amazing because from my perspective, I didn't much know what was going on and what, you know, like the backstory. And it's such a universal feeling that you get with this movie. Like they really, they really hit the spot in like what is fair and what is unfair and how people can be treated so inhumane by other people and that's one thing that our side of the world wars had in common but i of course grew up in a completely different environment right in i would say almost all white community and i remember my sister um she went to brazil on like a, an exchange program and I remember her coming back and explaining to us and I remember her sitting at the table and her saying like at the n-word which is like a word that was commonly used um that we shouldn't use that word anymore and I can remember my parents and I being like oh why why is that and like oh oh yeah that's bad <laughs> and being like of, of course and it's crazy because I think at that point I think I was 12 but it's also was just a conversation and then you skip that word out of your vocabulary but it doesn't really have meaning you know like and as you grow up you're so like baffled by history and i'm listening to a podcast right now because one of our kings leopold ii did colonize in congo and it's so crazy because we learned so little about it in school and i'm just, like 
I've been so upset growing up as an adult thinking like, how did we have to learn all the dates where the European Union was formed? All these ridiculous things. We didn't learn about how one of our kings actually sucked so hard and did the most awful things. And we have to learn that as an adult from different media. I just I can't. And something that I around me don't see happen very much because of course I'm not in that position and I, I still live in a mainly white community. But it's horrible to see it play out. And I, I, this is why I love movies like this because they're like, hello, this was bad. It was bad. And that you get pushed it in your face how bad it was, but that you also had people who are not going along with that and who want to change it and want to work on that, even if they get judged by it. And like now it's normal, right? To be against racism. And like for that guy, such a long time ago that was not the norm and he did it anyway and i'm just i'm i'm a mess <laughs> i'm so glad i watched this i had no idea how it would touch me honestly yeah everybody thank you for recommending this one to me and if there's other movies that you would like to see in black history month that have an impact like this that might be a bit shocking but also have a beautiful message I would love to see them and i hope you enjoyed this reaction i hope yeah <laughs> i don't know sometimes i'm like i don't know what i hope you guys get from this but i hope you had a good time watching this and let me know how you felt about this movie and i would love to learn more honestly and i think in that sense watching movies like this is so useful to teach people you know in a way that sometimes you wouldn't learn so thank you so much I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you had a good time. And the full length, as always, is available on Patreon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.